Welcome back to the latest episode of The Legend of Bob Johnson on Madden 18. We are sticking with this current timeline, and we're going to play another game, this time against the Saints. No need for a long intro, let's just get into the game. And here we are, we are playing the moments just like the last game. I'm going to play some full games probably this season, but for now, holy cow, we are... We just missed the entire first quarter. That kind of <laughs> disrupted my my thought process. Uh, we, we probably will play a few games where, where, well, maybe not a few. Probably played like two. Two games all season where we play the entire game and then I edit out the stuff to the, the good moments. But for now, we're just going to stick with the moments in this game and let's jump into it. Here we are on defense, backed up and ready to fight. Let's go, boys. Take control of this uh, rookie right here. All on Ingram. Oh. And the pass dumped off by, hey, look at that, Jacoby Brissett. Wonder where Drew, Drew Brees is. Because normally he signs a bunch of one year deals for, well, till the end of time, plays until he's about 80. Here we go, let's just bring the house. Am I going on this? Yep, we are going. And it's a run. Melvin Ingram, just shy of the first down. I think we're going to be third and one. Yep, third and one. Forget it. We're bringing the house once again. Oh, now Kamara's in the game. Oh, I hit the quarterback late. But no penalty. Woo! Got, got away with that. That was going to be a first down just about no matter what. at this point just in case we deal with the run we better go and drop into the 3-4 a little bit of man coverage there we go and up on Kamara and oh he is wide open in for the touchdown Well, we don't expect too much when you've got, what is it, three starting rookies on defense? Well, only 7 nothing. We're getting in the game, and now we're playing some offense. Let's see if we can tie this up. And here we go. And the snap. Very switcher. He breaks. He drops the ball. I'm stunned. I mean, he he had it at that point. It. I'd almost want to call that a fumble. He had it so long. Oh, maybe not. It felt like it at the time. And we're back in the game. Oh, to kick the field goal. Kick is up. The wind has it, and it's good. Franks with the kick. Let's see if our defense can hold. I think it did. Do we have the ball back? We do. Second and five in the red zone. Just under two and a half minutes to go. Wide open Hartman for the touchdown. Rookie Hartman coming in clutch. Steelers now with the lead. And we are on defense. Minute 21 left to go. Let's see what we can do here. Nice. Jacoby Brissett. Scrambles and off target. And just like that, somehow we got the. Oh, must have been a punt. There we go. Let's. How quickly can we get downfield? I should have turned on no huddle. Ah, who cares? 
Move, move, move. Let's go, boys. Wide open tight end. Jake Butt with the reception. Ah, oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do, but we'll uh, deal with it and let's go. Kenneth Dixon. Four yard run. Actually, let's call timeout. No huddle. We are ready to go. Second and seven. 47 seconds left. Johnson dro drops back. He's scrambling. And he is taken down. Not much they can do there. That was that was definitely coverage sack. And we're just going deep with this. Oh, he's open. He's open. He hits him in stride. Barry Switzer. Let's call our second time out. That was definitely a blown coverage by the defense. No, we just got sacked on this play. I'm going to try it again. I like this play too much. Not, I'm not sure why. It doesn't work a lot. <laughs> Here we go. Anybody. Right there. Hits him in stride. Malcolm Mitchell. We're getting one more playoff. Maybe we're not. Let's call the timeout. Too late. Do we kick the field goal? Or do we go for the points? I should have called the timeout sooner. I could have got two plays in. That is poor clock management. I'm just going to take the points. Oh no, I didn't just miss that and I shanked it. That was shameful. And we're missing almost the entire third quarter. All right, this is going to be a quick episode. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we're... Great. We're kicking the field goal. Just what I wanted. There's no way we're making this. No. Third and five? Uh, no thank you. We, I don't know what happened there, but we are changing that up. Two tight end set. Here we go, boys. Receiver's open. First down. Mitchell having a decent game, and we are back in already. And on offense once again, unfortunately on third down, once again. Staying in the same formation just to make things easy. A little scary here. Oh, oh! What was that? Oh, he dropped it! That's kind of a new animation. I don't think I've seen that. I uh, I wish the replay would work at this point. Oh, maybe it'll let us. Instant replay? I want to see that. Oh, it won't let us. 52-yard field goal. Can we make this? Yes, this is makeable. Let's hope I don't shank this one. There we go. Much better. It's up. The wind takes it. And it is through. Pittsburgh showing some heart. I greatly expected to, to lose this game coming into it. And we still might. But, shoot, at this point, five minutes left. Oh, and we are on defense. They've still got a good distance to go, and we're still up by a few scores. Good defense by... Is that Sam Shields? I think that's Sam Shields. And back in the game on offense. Let's just drain this clock. 
Oh, third and eight, though. <laughs> what was I thinking? Actually, we might be able to get the first on this anyway. Let's go for it. Oh, no. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Marlon Mack with his first carry of the game, making it worthwhile, but he still comes up short. And once again, back in the game. That's, uh... This is much more reasonable space to run the ball, so let's do it. That should be a first. There we go, Kenneth Dixon, first down. 83 yards over 26 attempts. And we are holding on to the ball. Two minute warning, perfect. Barring a turnover, this should be game. Well, not this play, but <laughs> it should be game. Ah. Just one man to beat. Couldn't beat him. Second and five on the nine. And off to Dixon. There's a hole. He gets the first down. New Orleans with the timeout. And let's let's do something. There you go. Same running play, different formation. Well, that was the last one. Ooh, you are stacking the box. Let's try this way. Run behind our two rookies. Oh, and Kenneth Dixon, broken tackle, touchdown. <laughs> they got some good penetration on that, too. One guy came up and blocked him. All right, well, I have no idea where the last part of the episode cut out. Um... I just looked down when I was or on the load menu. That was green, and green is not good. You want red with this machine. So I don't know if you guys missed a play, a quarter, a half, the whole game after the intro. I don't know. Unfortunately, I didn't look down until then. So hopefully you caught most of the game. It was an exciting one. We won. Um, as you can see there, we got a home win, and... Um, 3.5 yards per carry. That was fantastic. Um, maybe I'll pull up the stats from, from the game and show them to you real quick. Just in case. And if not, I'll uh, cut it out if if it's in the footage. So where are we? Let's uh, schedule. That's right. Team schedule. I'll give you an idea at least how the game went. So yeah, we won... 28 to 14, a surprisingly decisive win after getting destroyed in the last game and kind of really the last season. Uh, let's go to the player stats. That was a little more fun. So Johnson had an okay game, one one interception, one touchdown, 258 yards through the air. Did get sacked three times. Jacoby Brissett, not such a good day. Only uh, 40 was it 47 percent completion? Yep, 47 percent through an interception did get a touchdown and uh, let's see here rushing yards Melvin Ingram 4.2 yards of carry Alvin Kamara 5.5 but not a whole lot of actual yardage on the Steelers end 97 yards for Kenneth Dixon not only on 3.3 yards of carry though did get a touchdown Johnson went off though on the ground 60 yards on the ground on six attempts one touchdown Five broken tackles. I did not see that before. Holy cow. Look at him go. And then if you missed it in the gameplay, Marlon Mack got one carry, and it was a beastly one. As you can see over here, at uh, he's four yards after contact. They hit him. There was two guys on him, and he drugged them for four yards. Unfortunately, it was we were running out the clock, and we had eight yards to go, and he got seven, so he didn't quite make it, but it was he made quite the use of his one carry. Ryan Switzer, I don't know if you caught me saying before that 
it's uh, <laughs> I was calling him Barry before, and I was trying to figure out if who Barry Switzer was, who I I think is the Cowboys head coach after Jimmy Johnson. But anyway, Ryan Switzer led the team both in catches and yards, 86 yards, five catches. Malcolm Mitchell, 52 yards and four catches, and Jake Butt with 50 yards and four catches. The only receiving touchdown was our rookie tight end Craig Hartman. And did we did give up a couple of sacks, three. One two by our rookie right end. Or sorry, right tackle. And oh how do you yell? He's a smart man. And one out of our turnstile over here, Zach Banner. And oh it's not gonna show us the pancakes, but we didn't have any anyway. And the defensive player of the game that I'm giving to is Nino Henry. He led the team with nine tackles, three assists. Oh, I see. So six solo, three assists, nine total. No one had a tackle for loss. We only had um, our third string rookie left end with a sack. But Nino Henry, our only interception. So lead the team in interceptions and tackles. That gets you defensive rookie of the game. Or defensive, well, defensive rookie too, but defensive player of the game. All right, well, sorry about that. Hopefully you didn't miss too much. And anyway, we, you know what? We played the Ravens and Browns last season. So let's skip ahead. We will play, you know what? I would love to take out the Chargers. We're going to play the Chargers in the next, next game. So I'm going to simulate through those, show you the results. And uh, we'll see you next week. This is Extinguisher 10 signing off of the latest episode of The Legend of Bob Johnson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell. And if you, if you really liked it, go ahead and hit, hit the like button. Never hurts. It lets me know that you liked what you saw. All the, notifica or the uh, <laughs> subscribers do that too. But either way... Like I was saying before, Extinguisher 10 signing off. Have a great rest of your day.